Welcome back to Stuck Inside Gaming's playthrough of Alan Wake. In the last episode, we saw the darkness actually tell everybody who chased after Alan Wake to piss right off. Even knocked out that helicopter there in the distance. Also, apparently, uh, Rose did not have our manuscript and drugged both Barry and me. How dare. Still gotta make our way to the, uh, to the deadline with the kidnapper, though. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Okay, but does that mean anything? Woof. That was disorienting. Oh, for a second, I thought it was the birds come back for me. Ow. I don't even have my flashlight anymore. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. I have a feeling I don't want to go that way. shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. There was no power to the searchlight. Aha. Uh Every single generator is about 80 years old. Thermos! Give to me the coffee. The old generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Yeah, just kick that right back into place. Just kick it. It's not like you can make things any worse. Don't even try to strap it down to stabilize it to prevent it from doing that again. See? See? We probably could have fixed that. But no. The rider just has to kick it. Just like that old song. Kick it! Start a fight to your, for your right to part me. You didn't know what song that was. Not exactly sure where I'm going at this point. Okay. Well, now we're back with this. Now we only got five batteries and still no gun. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. <laughs> flashbang grenades? The radio is clearly still working, and I could probably push this onto its base. So I could, in full theory, get that thing working. And here's where we're about to need those grenades. Ah! 
No. Okay, this is going to be an interesting episode if all I've got is flashbangs. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Oh, I'll bet mm, there is. Just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. There was a helicopter. Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. It sounds uh, serious. I'm to get the station to call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no, there was a helicopter. And I'm pretty sure you'd have heard it go down. That's not the kind of... Oh, shit. Crap, can't see. Well, I got some moments. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, good. So it's like the evil muse? Touched by the dark presence, Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. So she was possessed, in a way. I don't want to just use one flash grenade per guy, but... Alright, I'm guessing I don't go down there. Yeah. 
I'm betting I missed a lot of pages in this episode. Oh. Uh. Well. I'm glad I used I those so perfectly. Car to get to the coal mine. Gotta grab that coffee. What do you mean? It's a train of the park, and of course you can get trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? The sheriff should be he never approach a radio host while he's on the air. Surprise! The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so oh, glad boy. you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. That was fast. Dan well, Brown. Well, everyone, calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Where is any of this action hero essence during the rest of this game? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Does this guy actually know who I am? Or is he just giving me nicknames? Oh, there's a generator. And the world is warping around me. Give me the revolver. All right, now we're back in business. Sort of. What is that? Nope! sensible reason for the power company work lines to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. controls to taken. Why and how, though? Am I going to the water tower now? Oh, are these timed?
Oh shit. In light, you can hurt them. No, really? Yeah, like I'm... <laughs> because why not? There's definitely a page up here. But is this the way I'm supposed to go, or is... Well, I'll grab the page first. Let's see. Okay, so I cannot open that. Okay. That's fine. Seriously, tired as Alan should be, he ought to have built up a little ability to run. Oh good, now we're in a train yard. Uh-oh. Hello? He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. He keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. So Alice, what? I'm here. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She uh, sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Not the only thing wrong with that? That whole conversation was wrong! That entire phone call was wrong. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Who is breathing? How freaky it'd actually be to be under a train like this. Really? The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. <laughs> 
It wants to stop me with a plywood board. Okay, fine. I'll keep to this side. What? <laughs> what? The opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Knock it off. It's not creepy, it's just weird. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. Cool. Oh. Oh. I don't know what you were expecting. Opposite shore. I hope so I could find a car I from there. Yes, I have to shine the light at every fuck. At every. Eh? No, really? It's not like I have a choice in the matter. Now, Pharaoh, follow where, oh so illuminated. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over. <laughs> my bad the opposite I shore. forgot it did that I hoped I could find a car from there <clears throat> sorry that was my bad that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path. Come on. The opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path.
I'm under attack by random physics objects! As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Alright, I'm gonna call it there for now. Uh, hope you're all enjoying the gameplay. Hope you're enjoying the commentary, as always. And also, as always, hopefully, if we're stuck inside, we might as well game. Uh, that's not, that's not creepy. See you next time.